In this example, we're going to look at mirrors and lenses, specifically a plane mirror. What is the smallest plane mirror that I need to see my full body all at once? So here I am standing in front of a large plane mirror. I have some height h, and I want my plane mirror to be as small as possible. So first, just from common sense, we can kind of figure that the plane mirror does not have to be any bigger than I am. As an upper limit, it has to be height h, but can it be any smaller than that? Well, my eyeballs are what's actually seeing the image on the mirror, so I'm going to draw in uh, the height from the ground to my eyeballs as h1, and the height from my eyeballs to the top of my head as h2. I know that light's going to hit my body, and for example, on the top of my head, it's going to bounce off of the mirror and bounce into my eyes. For example, when it hits my feet, it's going to bounce off of the mirror and bounce into my eyes. We know that the distance from the point at which the light hits the mirror and the point at which the light enters my eyes must be h1 over 2 and h2 over 2. That's because the angle of incidence must equal the angle of reflection. Well, in that case, then, the minimum height of the mirror that I need is just h1 plus h2 over 2. And we know that h1 plus h2 is just my height. So cleaning up the diagram a little bit, I need a mirror that is exactly half my height. So final thoughts. First off, we only need a plane mirror that is one half the height of the object in order to form a full image of the object. And a few questions for you. Number one, is this image real or virtual? And a slightly tricky question, does the object distance matter in this case? I think you'll be surprised about the answer.